today we are going to look at uh, waste management and how to deal with waste management of my fleet in countries where there are no sustainable waste management providers. Waste management is new to most of us and the very first step would be to sensitize and train your current teams that handle the fleet waste. However, it might be easy for some places to manage waste in a sustainable manner, but unfortunately it's not the case uh, for DRC uh, where I was based. Um, so we know the only real sustainable waste is the one that is not produced or used. Thus, our focus was on the five R's of waste management, which are refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose and repair and recycle. So we are looking at the five R's of waste management. Uh, so that is the waste that we manage. And then the five R's we say the uh, refuse, reduce, reuse, repair and repurpose and recycle, which involves a lot of things. So when we talk of refusing, uh, some fleet materials uh, that produce a lot of or a lot or more harmful waste should be avoided, such as uh, moving from two stroke motorbikes to four stroke motorbikes uh, using city cars and optimizing energy consumption, not oversizing generators and solarizing the heavy consumers like ACs and water heaters. Uh, when it comes to reduce, you use high quality products like spare parts, tires, engine oil, batteries. Better quality engine oil in DRC in Democratic Republic of Congo allowed us to increase our draining intervals from 5 to 10,000 kilometers, saving 50% estimate of 3,000 liters per year in engine oil uh, and a lot of filters. We are currently also pilot piloting a nitty reusable engine oil filter that will increase the drain intervals to 20,000 kilometers and do away with oil filter waste. So reduced battery consumption from 22 batteries in 2022 to 12 batteries in 2023. And before we are using two batteries per car, but the current batteries are almost making two years and still counting. Through different driver trainings like eco driving, fuel consumption was reduced from 17 to 18 liters per 100, ki 100 kilometers uh, to 15 to 16 uh, liters per 100 kilometers, thus saving over 15,000 liters in 2023 alone. Uh, through preventive maintenance and training the mechanics and drivers, we optimize the utilization of the vehicles and generators and motor pumps by reducing on breakdowns of vehicles, water pumps, hydraulic pumps, clutch systems, gearboxes, differentials and four wheel drive spare parts. Reducing on the wrong order through engagement, engagement and training of the supply and the technical teams, since some suppliers work on the rule that once goods are sold, they are not returnable. And on our side, if we make a wrong purchase, it becomes waste. Reuse, repair and repurpose. Uh, some fleet waste materials can be reused, such as bladders being used for fabrication of canvas frames for pickups and trucks and rare shackle kits for fabricating of HF antenna fixations, welding and reinforcement of chassis, axle housing, fuel tanks, gear boxes and different uh, uh, steering boxes that can be repaired. The last part of the R's is recycle. The recycling process involves uh, central collection of the waste and segregation of the different waste in the different waste streams, a storage of the waste in a cool dry place to avoid spillages. Uh, we collected over 20 tons of fleet waste in DRC uh, between 2022 and 2023, uh, which was like 100 batteries, 460 tires and over 3,700. 700 liters of engine oil. Uh, in order to manage waste, we did a lot of partnerships with commercial organizations that are working on uh, constructing recycling plants in the Democratic Republic of Congo. We also partnered with them for our pilot project, which involved transporting our waste uh, to do a cross-border option uh, to be recycled in Uganda. We did the disposal of seven uh, carnivalite cars to be used as spare parts with the commercial companies. And also we did, uh, we, we shared with them 10 lines of dead stock spare parts, plus three land cruisers, which were exchanged for a city car uh, to be used for our coordination. We also uh, gave 13 old generators, which were exchanged with the main 
supplier of generators in the Democratic Republic of Congo for a credit that was directed towards uh, generator spare parts. Uh, we engaged the we we engaged the nearest recycling plant, uh, and it was a cross border option which was in uh, Hoima. Uh, on the Ugandan side, which was roughly less than 600 kilometers away, uh, yet the current uh, uh, capital of Democratic Republic of Congo is 3,000 kilometers away from where our waste was based. Uh, through the cross-border options, there was a lot of requirements. We only had the challenge of uh, tires, which we are not allowed into the country because they needed to be shredded to be sure they, they don't find themselves on the on the local market. So partnerships with other human humanitarian organizations are underway uh, in order to have uh, the, the volume, the waste volumes that will be interesting to the uh, commercial organizations or the recycling plants. Uh, thank you.